Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Target SPI. Now we are going to see third data interpretation. Let's see what it is. A shopkeeper sells two items, charger and cables. There are two items, charger and cables. The line graph shows the percentage of chargers sold in five different years. This line graph shows the percentage of chargers. These are chargers percentages in five different years. Okay. And the table graph shows the cumulative number of cables sold in five years so this table is about cables sold and these are cumulative we must remember this one cumulative so let's solve these data interpretation question now to solve these we need to make another table with values of individual years let's see what we need to get we need to find these are cumulatives so we need to find number of cables sold from this table okay and we need to find number of chargers sold these are the required things we need to find how to find these here it is cumulative means so it will be in 2011 it will be double one two zero in the next year the difference between these two is this one let's see what is the difference here it is five nine minus two seven six minus one five and it is two minus one one so this is 2012 total number of cables sold now let's see this one 9 minus 5 4 7 minus uh, 9 means 8 this will become 7 7 minus 6 1 4 minus 2 it is a 2 okay next one 9 minus 9 0 9 minus 7 2 7 minus 8 which is 9 this will be 5 5 minus 4 which will be 1 here it is 4 minus 9 means 14 minus 9 which is 5 6 minus 9 which will be 7 it is 2 2 minus 7 2 minus 7 means 12 minus 7 which is 5 this is 7 7 minus uh, 6 which is 1 so these are the number of cables sold now we need to find the number of cable number of charges sold the line graph says percentage of charges sold and the remaining percentage here let's see an example it is 72 percent means it is 72 percent means uh, the chargers here sold is 72 percent the remaining 28 percent will be the number of cables sold so in the first one this double one two zero is nothing but 28 percent in this one it is 55 percent so it will be 44 percent 45 percent 45 percent value is this one here it is 48 percent means it is 52 percent okay it is 60 percent means it is 40 percent it is 65 percent so it will be 35 percent we can able to calculate this one these are 72 percent 55 percent 48 percent 60 percent 65 percent now how to find this 28 percent value is 1120 means 72 percent value is what 28 30 times 
no no 40 times 4 times is 32 okay 40 times so 72 means 7 4 4 2 times is 8 4 7 times is 28 2 8 8 0 is the first one 2 8 8 0 here it is 45 percent value is 45 percent value is 1575 so what will be 55 percent value this is 511 times this is 59 times 9 1 times is 9 and 67 9 7 times is 63 45 means 5 11 into 175 175 we get 5 2 this will be 8 9 1 9 7, 1 9 2 5 so it will be 1 9 2 5 okay 52 percent value is 2184 52 percent is 2184 then what is 48 percent this is 52 4 times is 208 means we get 104 which is 2 times 42 42 into 48 48 into 42 yesterday i teach you how to do this the unit sum is 10 and the place of tens is same by using all that data we have created a table like this number of charges sold number of cables sold and total value of these now let's see the questions in first question q1 and q2 are given q1 the number of cables sold in 2012 2012 number of cables 1575 1575 is what percent of the total number of items sold in 2014 2014 is four eight double zero means four eight double zero into hundred it will be three sixteen times three five times and three two times and five times this is 16 3 2 times 3 times is 48 48 means 45 remaining with 45 means it is 45 means 2 times 32 something 32 and approximately 32 okay and the other one q2 the number of charges sold in 2013 2013 charges is 2016 is what percent of the total number of items sold in 2011 2011 total is 4000 so it will be 4 5 times 20 0 times and 4 4 times divided by 10 means 50.4 so this is lesser than this one so q1 is less than q2 option d is our answer next one question number two ratio between the number of charges sold in 2014 charges in 2014 is 2880 to the number of cables sold in 2012 number of cables in 2012 is 1575 1575 five three times one time and five times here it is five two times okay three one zero five times three nine times twenty seven three six times eighteen into two three thirty two times thirty five times so we get sixty four is to thirty five is our ratio option e now moving for question number three find the difference between the average number of charges sold in 2011 13 and 14 charges in 11 13 and 14 11 13 14 two double eight zero two zero one six two double eight zero total will be 6 917 917 67 triple 7 6 divided by 3 3 
two times okay let's see the other one also and uh, we'll do the difference directly average number of cables sold in 2012 13 and 14 cables in 12 13 and 14 we get 1575 2184 1920 whole sum is 917 10 and 6 16 4 plus 1 5 6 7 5 so 777 6 minus 5 6 uh, 7 9 value is 7 this is uh, 9 this will be zero this will be two whole divided by three three six times eighteen nine times is twenty seven and nine times is twenty seven so answer will be six ninety nine option c thanks for watching